Kansas City leaders started to become a sanctuary city for the transgender community. This comes after the Missouri Attorney General started placing restrictions on gender affirming care. Fox 4's Tia Johnson was there for the vote and walks us through what happened. If the city council passes this resolution, it would allow gender affirming care in Kansas City despite state law. Aye. Aye. All Aye. opposed? Motion passes. A recent move from Missouri Attorney General Andrew Bailey has Kansas City leaders taking a vote. I think that it shows that Kansas City is committed to supporting trans and non-binary people and not prosecuting or criminalizing them, which historically, especially for trans people of color, we've been criminalized. The topic of discussion, gender affirming care for the transgender community. Though the Transportation Committee passed an ordinance creating a safe haven for transgender people on Wednesday, there were some concerns. I speak as a mother who would do anything possible to give their children the needed medical care that they so deserve. I don't see why the city government is dictating or telling people we care, we don't care, we, we like you, we don't like you, whatever. I don't understand why we're talking about this today. Some council members worried if this decision would bring backlash from the AG's office and if the committee was fit to make this decision. Councilwoman Andrea Boo, who sponsored the legislation, says it lets trans people in Kansas City know the city has their back and will stand against harmful legislation. Um, I think it's something that the city needs uh, to send a message not only to our trans community that we stand in support and that we will be that safe haven. And the next step is for the full council to vote on this resolution tomorrow. Tia Johnson, Fox 4, working for you.